oh my god but this is like but this is like so easy though can you combo into it though it's just the timing that is so unbelievably cheap hey everyone welcome to the street fighter 6 beta wow ken is looking angry um this is Day one, the beta has been out since midnight. I, of course, was sleeping and had work, so couldn't really get started until now. I've been hyped for this thing for a week, uh, over a week, ever since it was announced. I am on an arcade stick, and I don't think it's possible to control the camera. They did think of having an arcade stick uh, where you can, like, actually control your character but I don't think they went beyond that. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit interesting because I'm literally, I just literally jumped in here. I have no idea what the hell is going on. And yeah, I'm on classic controller mode, I think. Let's go ahead and uh, how do you get into a game? I'm on Luke. I need to find a way to change that. Um. Let's try to get into a game. Hey, yo. Come on, get onto a game. Um, go to solo training, spectate another cabinet. Is this guy go Please tell me. Please tell me he's gonna be joining. Wait, hold on. There were some other options here. This is so confusing. Uh, change character. Who do I wanna play? None of the characters I actually wanna play are included in this demo. I know how to play Guile, kind of. No, don't go on modern. Shit. Quit, 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 quit. Uh, why did it default? It asked me during the tutorial whether I want to go on modern or classic, and I pick classic. Come on, bruh. Is this how this works? Um, yeah, go to solo training. Holy shit. I know, I know what to do here. I know how to play this character, flash kick. Uh, I need to figure out his supers. That's one of them, that's the level 3. Charge and kick. Does he have like... He has motion inputs, this is his, okay. Okay, and then how do you... How do you, um... Oh, that's how, okay. All right, let's see if that still works. Um, what, what else were his combos? Medium punch, crouching medium punch or something like that. Oh, that still works. And that should go into flash kick too, right? That is a difficult input. That is a tight charge. He also has uh, forward. Yep, that still works. Did it work? I don't think that works anymore. But this still works? I think... Oh, this used to work, right? That doesn't work. Overhead, he still has his overhead. Non-cancel... Oh, the target combo. He still has, uh, wow, Guile has most of his stuff. Now, listen, the only reason I picked Guile is he's very easy and I remember most of the stuff. I never like really played Guile, but like I said, I wanna play Zangief and um, who else, who else did I wanna play? That new guy, JP, I think he's the new villain. He's kind of interesting, but mainly Zangief. I wanna play Grappler. Um, what the hell? Uh, all my buttons just... Gotcha. Gotcha. First game of Street Fighter 6. This is kind of incredible. <laughs> nice. Ooh, I'm playing Guile. Oh, he's AFK. Oh, no, he's not. Come on, jump at me. Okay. 
I want to try out the new stuff. Cool. Nice punish. Let's do the slow one. So, Guile has this new mechanic where he can do like a... No, he jumped over. Where he can do like a perfect... Sonic Boom. There are no crush counters anymore. That's what I was trying to do. God, the meter management is something you'll have to get used to. Come on, jump. Come on, jump at me! I knew... I knew you wanted to. Yep. So, I'm thinking early on in the beta, key things, always key things, are to stay calm and go for anti-airs. A lot of people are so, like... jump heavy. I can't believe that didn't punish. Unsafe. That target combo is still unsafe. Yeah, the perfect one is a little bit more difficult to get online. Come on. What was it? Oh god, how did I do his thing? How did I do his little buff? Oh, it was this, yeah. Yeah, come on, eat shit, bitch. <laughs> that still works. That's kind of cool. This is a cool character. I mean, I always liked Guile. It's just... His playstyle... Doesn't really appeal to me. Outside of, like, having fun like this. Um, so, yeah. Nice combo, though. Yep. I can't believe I'm messing up my meaties that much. Alright. He doesn't block on Wake Up, so I got that on my advantage. I'll try out the other characters too. I'm gonna be playing this, I think, exclusively over this weekend. I think the beta is available for quite a while. Uh, nice uppercut though. Okay, that still works. Okay, nice overhead. Yep, just go for the punishes. Oh, he has that! Wait, how did I do... Oh, that's a motion input. Okay. I should have checked the actual... Yep. I should have checked the actual input uh, before I started. Uh, that would be probably beneficial, but hey, I'm just having fun here. Hey, Chidril, do you want to go? No, why does it always... It, it always defaults to Luke. And modern controls, that's really annoying. I need to find a way to... Visit battle settings to adjust settings pertaining to online matches. Turn on matchmaking for ranked or casual. Ooh, yes, I want that. And we want to go with. I'll, I'll probably just stick to Guile for now. Um. Yeah, I know about rigs and lengths, <laughs> leagues and ranks, rigs and lengths. Um, the thing about this game is, I don't want to go into it because. Yeah, I was silver and gold, bitch. I was advanced, um... So what I was gonna... I completely lost my train of thought, but what I was gonna say is... We'll just go on with Guile, and then I'll go offline and see what happens. Oh, this guy's gold. Let's see what happens. Shit. Wow, this is laggy. Okay. What the hell is going on? I'm a modern. I, I can't believe it. That's why shit is not working. I switched. <laughs> Fuck. I'm a modern like an idiot. What the hell is... How does this work? I don't know how modern... I'm, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. This is... Yeah. Um, I don't know how to tech throws. Yeah. Cool. Well, that was... Yeah, he's wearing the Tims. He's wearing cat boots. It doesn't even look like... Okay, sorry, bro. I really like you. Uh, you're probably a fun opponent to fight, but we gotta, we gotta change this shit. This is not gonna work. 
All right, here we go. God, I can't believe it defaults to that. So does it stay? Okay. So what I'm gonna do is hopefully this saves the settings and whoever I play, I'm gonna go all on classic um, and we'll see what happens. Oh, and by the way, before you roast my avatar, I literally just picked one of the base ones, hit random a couple of times, and then picked the hair. Is he wearing like Louis Vuitton fucking tra tracksuit? That looks like... Damn. <laughs> Fuck, Gal is so buff. Yeah, that definitely is a punish. Nice. This is one of the new characters. I have no idea what's going on. He's, ju he's a jumper. Okay. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Come on, jump. Yep. Can't jump in on freedom. Yep. Can I just kill him with sonic booms and flash kicks? Yep, I think I can. Almost exclusively. I, you really gotta watch your meter in this game. Uh, the meter, like, looking out for the meter is a little bit more... I think difficult than... God, that, it's weird that that has like an extra hit on it. Okay. So he's going for jump-ins and throws. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's something I gotta get used to as well. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely punishable. Yep. And, yep. Activate that shit. Nice. Yep, punishable. Got you. So, the only thing I know about most of these characters who are not legacy characters is what's been released by Capcom itself in terms of like the the character breakdowns and all that. So, yeah, a lot of these are going to be completely new. Like, I think the, the art style is so good. I know I'm all over the place, but this is really crazy. That looks like a punish for sure. I don't know how it was not. Yep. How did I do that thing? Yep, nice throw. It's weird that those don't crush counter anymore. Nice. I have no idea what she does. Yep. How? There it is. Yep. So most of her like dashes and all that look punishable. I'm gonna jump because she's gonna run in. Nope. She did run in, but not when I thought she would. Oh, how did that miss? It's so weird that Guile has motion inputs. Autocorrect, that is nice. Let's try it. Hmm. Isn't that supposed to absorb two hits and that's it? Oh, fuck! Nice. Punishable, and she's still not dead. Nice. I was gonna block the slide because she did a slide, um, but that didn't work. Yep, <laughs> fucking just a wake up. The guy, the Daigo special slash Guile special, just wake up EX.
fuck it, why not, right? Sometimes it just works. I'm like actually having a lot of fun here. Um, I keep burning myself out. That's like something I really gotta like watch out for. All right, final round. But I, I kind of fuck with this mechanic though. I don't know what the hell she was doing there at the end, but whatever I did is, um, I went for a medium punch flash kick, which worked, uh, and that's kind of. Wow, this guy jumps a lot, by the way. Yep. Come on, jump. Jump. Come on, jump. Alright, throw works as well. I'm okay with that. This game is so fun. Uh, we'll see if she goes for one more. Uh, fine, Man, let's do it. What I'm just looking to do here is get some games in and get some practice so you'll be like ahead of the competition he has a target combo he does he has a medium punch target combo doesn't he and i don't know how to do it um how do you is it medium punch heavy punch I need to like go into training mode and figure that shit out. It's not that. She's definitely gonna jump. Yep. Kinda had a feeling. By the way, I gotta mention the net code is fantastic. Although, I'm gonna be honest with you, if you guys are familiar with the with the netcode of Street Fighter V, you guys know that that wasn't a, a hard case to improve on. Uh, so, but this feels a lot better. This feels akin to like MK11. I'm not a huge fan of MK11 as a game, but you gotta admit that that game has a fantastic netcode. So, I, that, that wasn't what I was trying to do. I still haven't figured out his level 1 super. That's like one of the things that's... That's like eluding me. The the level 1 super. There should be a move list in this game. And we'll just see. Alright. Fine. I'm okay with that. So if I wait on here, I should be able to, yeah, go into solo training. And then... Uh, blah blah. Okay, we'll go over that later. I just want to see the command list. Sonic Boom, Somersault, Sonic Blade. Yep. Sonic Cross. Yep, we know that. Sonic Break during Solid Punch. What the hell is Solid Puncher? Oh, that's when it's active and Sonic Break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all he has. All right, Super Arts. So the level one is just his old one. All right, I'm okay with that. Unique attacks. I wanna see that. Where is that target combo? Recoil cannon, that's not it. That's a good one though. He has that kick. It is crouching. Okay. It is just crouching medium punch. Most of his stuff is like the same. Just gotta be quick with it. Nah, okay, hold on. Yeah. Oh my god. But this is like... But this is like so easy though. Can you combo into it though? Because you can link. Because you can link standing punch and crouching punch. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, hell yeah, you can. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we got it. It's just the timing. That is so unbelievably cheap. Because you know what the problem with Guile's old, like, combo was? You know, in Street Fighter V when you did this and this into something, the charge window was so incredibly small that it made it difficult to, like, um, do anything. But here, you just go... Okay, that might be out of range, but... That is so cheap. Throw escape practice. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Drive impact. Man, they are really, really going the extra mile. Um, they are really going the extra mile. Because the main issue with... Street Fighter V's training mode. Street Fighter had an incredibly advanced training mode, in my opinion. That was too early. But the issue was that you needed to set up a lot of things manually. And I think that made it maybe a little bit too difficult for a lot of players to approach. Because, like, you needed to be in the know and explore what you need to do. Yeah, you can definitely do that. But this is so good. Punish practice, frame meter, whiff punish, standard CPU, throw escape, anti-air practice. Let's try it. Yeah, this is so good that you don't have to, that these are just pre-built. Man. I've always said that Killer Instinct probably has the best training mode out of any fighting game, but that might honestly change with this because... You can really tell they, they're going the extra mile to sort of embed sort of good practices into people. And that is, that is so, so welcome. Now, what I just want to know is, can I set this full to auto block? Um, dummy, there it is. We need to block after first hit. To know what's a combo and what's not. That smile is so creepy. <laughs> and then these these guys still look way way better than the custom characters. The custom characters sound like they're a bit creepy. Kana also looks really cool in this game. He looks... Because he was probably like the... The worst looking character in... Um, in 5. For obvious reasons. What the hell was that? Does that go up? Yep. Oh, I mistimed that. No matter. Yep. And we go for the combo. Guile, I'm like actually legit surprised. As someone who's not like... I mean, I was interested in Guile always, but... I'm not like a huge, huge fan of this character. He was fun in 5, but... Like, Gai Daigo made him look very good and all that, but... It wasn't like... Now that is a custom avatar. Now that is a custom avatar. I just went for, like I said, random. And I think what I kind of ended up with is like, this guy looks like Noctis from FF15. If he had like a real tough life, like he had a rough upbringing and he kind of took a different life path. And this is the Noctis we ended up with. That's what this character looks like. The, the white tank top doesn't help. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm just gonna continue. Um, I actually probably have enough stuff for a video, but I'll continue playing. Okay, so before we wrap up this exploration of the Street Fighter 6 beta, first exploration, there's one more thing I gotta try. I gotta do at least a couple of matches with Ryu. Ryu is the 
classic character. And like I said, I can't in good, good conscience do a video, the first video, and not have one match with Ryu. So yeah, this should be easy. I mean, Ryu has pretty much worked the same way since the very first game. So not the very first game, but Street Fighter 2 definitely. So I should be able to... Oh, nice. Get in the corner. Okay, already failing. Oh yeah, they work, the classics work. Wonder how good he is at zoning. Nice. Ooh. That was completely accidental, that super, it worked too. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna do an yeah, oh no, never mind. Happy accidents, happy accidents. Oh he has the donkey kick, doesn't he? Nice. Okay, cool, nice target combo. How do you do the okay. There it is. Oh, okay, doesn't work. I mean, I messed up the combo. Shit! Nice, 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 nice. So it's back, heavy kick, light punch, and something, which is the combo. Yeah. I'm just gonna... And that target combo still slaps for Luke. Nice, dead, super finish. Yeah, Ryu pretty much works, like I said, as he always has. And that's kind of... That's kind of what's nice about Ryu. You can definitely just pick him up and play. Oh, did he? Oh yeah, he did. He broke my stance. It's super dangerous, by the way. Nice combo. Yeah, because you can't, like, do shit. You don't have EX, you don't have... Yeah. It's gonna be really difficult to get out of the corner when you're uh, sort of drained like that. You gotta be real careful. I fuck with it, though. I guess that combo doesn't work anymore. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, you need to be real careful. With Ryu, it's easier to... to sort of run out and lose track of yourself with the meter. Ah, oh, shit, I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah. GG's, GG's. This guy is pretty good. I like it. I fuck with it. Yeah, I think Luke also kind of works uh, how he did. Um, I can't believe that doesn't... I'm either playing really badly or that it's actually no longer a combo. And I would be very sad if that was... Nice. Oh shit. Oh, mega shit. Yeah, no, this is... Now I'm playing like an idiot. That was not good. That was not good. You can't jump out. Alright, alright. You can't jump out on reaction. 
to that. Uh, that's too fast. GG's, GG's. Is that my win streak? Oh wait. This was ranked, wasn't it? So you can only play... I'm guessing ranked... So either he left or ranked works like it did in SF5 where you can only play first to three. And I, I mean, not first to three, but best out of three. Cool. All right. Another Hungarian. Got to go against Guile. Okay. I swear that doesn't work anymore. Nice flash. <laughs> you know what that was? I, I literally just tried V-triggering. That's how like... Nice. Throw loops. I mean, probably Reed doesn't. I don't think they're gonna bring back throw loops, but something like that. Nice. Shit. Nice. Or maybe they're bringing back throw loops. Nice. Am I dead? I think I might be dead. Yeah, alright. That was a good comeback. I can't lie. I respect a good comeback when I see one. Nice to throw. Oh yeah, okay. Oh shit. I was trying to do a super there, but I think I got the wrong input. I mean, that super has to be 4-4 four, four punch, right? That's like the classic review. I just don't know if you how many buttons you got pressed. I think that might be the the problem there. Okay, so I think that's gonna wrap up our first SF6 adventure here in the beta. I gotta tell you, this is very fanboyish, but I am incredibly impressed with this game. I know people have played this game have all been impressed by it but yeah playing it live and just experiencing this game is just absolutely crazy it feels great online feels great um i guess we'll just wait to see how this like world tour and single player stuff pans out but i'm not big on the single player stuff in fighting games i play through the story mode if there is one but that's about it but the online and just the way this game feels is just very smooth it's just perfect um i didn't think it would be possible to make street fighter a little bit more realistic feeling because you know this game has always been kind of goofy and cartoony but they did it oh can you do like special i thought you could do like special moves here and they did it and yeah i'm like mightily impressed i will be playing a ton more of this beta I'm gonna try out the other characters as well 
Maybe we'll try out Feet Lady, i.e. Jury next, and we'll see where that goes. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. If you guys did enjoy this first little adventure foray into the SF6 beta and SF6 in general, do like this because there will be a ton of Street Fighter stuff coming out when this game does actually release, which is very soon, very soon at this point. It's like half a month, less than half a month. All right, gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. And yeah, let's have a look at this awkward ass character that I made. Thanks for watching everyone and goodbye.